Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So in the last video, we went through how we could get the Azura to detect the line, literally just by comparing the data that we're getting from the photo transistors at the front of the, the Azura and comparing that to what we think is the midway point between pure white and pure black, which is about 800 in terms of decimal value. So we're going to carry on from here. We're going to build upon this program and we're actually going to get the Azura to actually follow the line this time. So the logic behind this is actually explained on page 64 of the Azura manual. So make sure you're going through this Azura manual. And if you look at page 64, here's pretty much the logic for the program. So what we'll do is we'll copy and paste this into our code editor and then we'll explain the logic. All right, so here's the logic out or the pseudo code that's written for the program. So as you can see here, what it's doing is it's taking the data Right, so int data or one data two, and it's obviously that's an array, right? So it's got an array with two positions. So what we're doing is we're calling the line data function, which is as part of the zero header file, and we're submitting or storing that data as coming from this function into this variable, this array that we just created. So the data will be stored in position or position one and position two of the array or element zero element one however you want to look at it. if you're not comfortable really with arrays don't worry about it too much but i definitely suggest getting comfortable with it you would you don't need to to be able to understand this code but it's i it's ideal if you can okay what we're doing is we're using an if statement here and we're comparing the two datas so think about it right you've got the two transistors on the front of the azura we're comparing this photo transistor to this one and we're saying how do they compare? Is the right photo transistor, is it greater than the left? If it does, think about it, right? If the value is being stored in those two transistors, if one of them is greater than the other, what does that mean? That means that both the, the middle LED in front, the red LED in front of the Azura, it's beaming light onto, onto the surface, right? And if they're both receiving the exact same value back, that means that they're both on the same color surface, right? So if they're, if they're both receiving 1,500 back in terms of their decimal value, what they're receiving back, then we know that they're both on pure white. If they're both receiving nothing back, then we, we know that they're both on pure black, right? If one's receiving less than the other, we know that one is closer to the line than the other, right? Because remember, pure black is zero. If one's receiving less than the other, then we know that that one is closer to the line. So what we should do is we should get the Azura to turn towards where whichever photo transistor has the lower value, right? Think about that again. So if one, let's 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 use an example here, right? If one of the photo transistors is receiving 800 and the other one's receiving 400, then we know that one has a slightly brighter surface than the other. So we should turn towards the first because that's that one's closest to the line. And what we're doing is we're checking this, you know, I mean, let's say hundreds of times every second. Usually, I think I think it's probably about 50, 60 times a second. Is it is one brighter than the other? And then what we're doing is we're adjusting, we're turning the Azura a little bit left, a little bit right towards where wherever is darker. So what we're saying here in this pseudocode at the top is we're saying if the data being received back in the right photo transistor is greater than the one on the left, then do this. If that's not the case, then do that. This and that, this command one and this command two, this is what we're gonna go into in this video. But this is the logic behind it. So basically, how can we get the Azura to turn? Think about it, right? We get the Azura to turn by moving one of the motors at a faster speed than the other. Think about it, you've got two wheels, you're driving, if they're both going at the same speed, the Azura is driving straight. If they're both going at different speeds and one's going 50 knots higher than the other, then we know that it's going to be turning away from the one that's driving faster and towards the one that's driving slower. So that's what we're going to do here to get the Azura to drive to and follow the line. Okay, so let's get code in the actual program now. So everything's pretty much going to remain mostly the same in terms of the logic. We're going to turn on the front LEDs. We're still going to read the data. If you don't know, if you don't, if you if you haven't seen this program before, watch my previous video of the playlist. And you, we, we've explained that code. We've explained this code, sorry, in that video. So go back and watch that one. Okay. So what we're going to do now is here. This else statement was obviously 
if we're not so we're, what we're saying is we're saying that if both of the photo transistors are less than 800 then we know that we're on the line right so we're going to keep that the same we're going to get rid of this else because what this else is basically saying is if we're not on the line if neither of the transistors are, aren't both on the line then turn the status is red so we don't need that for now we'll get rid of that what you wanted to to do is if you want to create some sort of formula to get the zero back on the line so for example this else statement will be initiated only when both the phototransistors are receiving back a higher value of 800 meaning that it's on white if it's on white let's say you wanted to implement some sort of strategy to get the zero back onto the line that's you'd put that here but so we'll get rid of this for now we don't need it okay so now here's where our code's going to go here we've got status led green we'll turn we'll, we'll leave that off we don't need the led for now click into this logic up here we're basically going to compare the two datas so we can copy this in here All right so we're saying if data one is greater than data zero or so element one greater than element zero then we're going to drive the motors forward and then here's the mode we're going to do the motor speeds so here we've got if one is greater than the other then we're going to get the zero to drive straight right and then we're going to do the same here one thing to notice is that when it comes to the if else when you do it like this you need to be careful i don't like to do the if else without the actual square bracket so let's do that same with the else statement what we're saying here is that if the right side is greater than the left side this is actually a confusing way to do it. I'm going to switch it around. If the if the if the left photo transistor is greater than the right one, we're going to drive forward, but we're going to drive slower on the right side. So think about it. if the Azuros if the if the Azuros found the line and the left side the left side of the Azuro is detecting 1000 and the right side is detecting 400. We know that the right side has the line there. So we need to turn slightly right. We're going to do that by sending the left motor, which is 150, high at 150, and slow down the right one. Now, obviously, we don't want the zero to stop dead. So we still want the motors to keep going. But we want one to go at a much higher pace than the other one. So we could even set this to, for example, 110. And you'd adjust these speeds to make the, the zero more accurate. And better at following the line so now we've got a, a nice big discrepancy here and we should see the zeros turn veer towards the right because obviously the right speed is slower so the zero will go towards the right and then what we're saying here is that otherwise if the left side isn't greater than the right and the right side's greater then we want to crank up the speed here and lower the speed here still keeping the motor directions towards to the forward okay so i've just noticed a mistake where i've copy and pasted the code from the book they were using the variable one data and I'm using the variable I data. So I'm going to be consistent, change mine, change the one data to I data. So just be aware of that. This is the problem of copy and pasting code. I'm really not a fan of copy and pasting code. Almost every single problem I've had where it's taken me six hours to resolve the issue has been from copy and pasted code from a book somewhere or from Stack Overflow. So always best to type it in yourself. Trust me, solves a lot of problems. Cool. Okay. So now let's see how the program actually runs. And as you can see, it sticks to the line fairly well. Yeah, I'm very happy with that. And so that's pretty much it. I mean, with this code here now, you can get the Azura easily to follow a line. The two things that are going to affect the performance mostly are going to be this value here, what we're calling the midway point between white and black. So obviously, depending on the ambient light, etc. And that's why it's a good idea to shield your Azura uh, infrared LEDs at the front. But depending on this, what you can do is if you're in a bright white lab or in a dark bedroom, you might want to adjust this color, this, this, so that what we're saying is we're comparing, think about it, right? We're saying we're comparing the data that's being received to an arbitrary value that we're setting here at 800. So if you're having any accuracy issues, adjust this, this, this first. Secondly, what you could do is slow it down, slow the user down. There's nothing wrong with, for example, bringing this speed down to 120. I'm bringing this one down to 60. The slower, I think it's just obvious, right? The slower you drive, the more accurate you're going to be able to be. And likewise with the Azura, the slower you make it drive, the more accurate it's going to be. So just bear those things in mind. 
if you have any questions leave a comment below i'll be more than happy to help and yeah i mean we're, we're going to carry on but if you've got the azura as part of any sort of test or assignments part of university this is all the code you're going to need and if you're just going to ask me how many can i just copy and paste this code yes you can just go onto my github links in the description and the whole code's there cool all right thanks guys for watching i'll see you in the next one peace